because I want to make sure you understand the importance of celebrating. And it might seem stupid, it might seem romantic. I am a romantic person, but truly, we only live life once. Last night, I went back to training and I was talking to my trainer. And I was kind of telling him a little bit why am I doing this lives and everything else because every once in a while I see him pop up. And it's funny because at first it's a little bit embarrassing uh, coming up here and telling my story and telling why am I doing this. But after a month, um, every day I would feel better because I know my goal and um, how do I say the the motivation that keeps me going is more important than being embarrassed. But anyhow, so I told him something last night that I'm not sure if I ever said it on the lives and I hope people can hear this and listen, which is, all right, why we celebrate? Think about it. Every time you have an invitation and you go to a party, usually when you make that list and you choose the people for, for to attend that party, it's a special occasion. There's a reason why you have in the event. It's either a baby shower because you waited for the moments that you, you wanted to share with everybody that you're pregnant, that everybody wants to see and touch the belly and, and, and be there as part of the process of your life, your milestones and, and, and everything that you've been going through. Sometimes it could be an aunt or a godmother that's been in your life forever and you don't see her often. She lives, for example, in California, in New Jersey. So that party is like the perfect excuse to get everybody together because everybody has a reason to come to you and celebrate their moments, right? And that's what's so special when we make a list of guests. Um, so basically, what I'm trying to say what the importance of celebrating is either in life, there's two moments that we can actually get all our families together. It's either when we have a party to celebrate something or unfortunately when there's a funeral. And it's true, that's the only two times that we can get everybody to drop everything they're doing it and join you for a moment and be there to support the family. It's either when you go to a wedding, go to a party, your first birthday, your baby shower, or unfortunately you go to a funeral. Those are the only times that most of the people would drop everything on their regular day life to come together as one as part of a family friends to support each other so why not make sure we have these memories and parties and celebrating until we here because we're here now it's better to have it now more than ever with everything that's going outside than having that phone call that something happens and now and not even actually like in even going to funerals right now it's it's not, I don't think the funeral homes are accepting people, just inside people, like smaller people. But my point is like, we have reasons to celebrate life every day. And we should bring, keep up with these memories, build these memories, because once we're gone, we only have memories of those times. And the best times to get families together, like I said, is parties, better than funerals. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a kind of more to, like a not a good point to do, but I think it's an important point for you to think about it because I'm not wrong. You know, I live this, I I seen it, and more than ever we should think about this right now. <laughs>